Welcome to the ProKitchen printing tutorial. ProKitchen software offers a variety of printing features such as quick print, print preview, and print templates that make for effortless printing at the end of your design process. Quick print can be used to quickly print a specific floor or elevation plan view from your design. Print preview can be used to set up a preview of the pages to be printed and print templates can be used to create a page that can show different types of views and design elements on a single page. The quick print feature can be accessed by opening and selecting the floor or elevation view that you wish to print and right clicking on an empty area of its background grid. From the right click submenu, select quick print and ProKitchen will send the selected view to your connected printer. The other printing fe features can be accessed by going to the File menu and selecting Print. The Print button allows you to select the printer, set up the print options and the appearance of the pages, and print all of your floor and elevation views. Or you can uncheck the All Pages to print a range of your views instead. The Print Preview button will launch the Print Preview settings. Select your printer and then Page Format by clicking the Setup button. In the Page Setup dialog, you can select the Paper Size, Paper Source, Layout Orientation, and Margins, and then click OK to save. Use the Print Scale Ratio buttons to change the scale for the prints. Fit to Page allows the views to fit to the full page area, and Ratio allows the views to be printed to a certain scale. Use the Print Area Radio buttons to select what is displayed in the prints. Entire Design shows the entire design area. Display shows what is displayed on the current view panel. Use the Page Range to select the views to be printed. All views will print all of your floor and elevation views. Current views will print the current floor and elevation view regardless of the elevation panel being open or not. Elevation views will print all of your created elevation views. Plan views will print all of your created plan views. And selected views will enable the browse button which will let you pick specific plan or elevation views to print. Use the stamp form selectors to display a stamp form on your prints. The stamp form is a title box that will display on the bottom right side of your printed views. Check border to show a border on your pages. Print stamp will turn the stamp form on and also enable the stamp form settings button. And grayscale will put your views in black and white. In the stamp form settings, use the design tab to change the design name and date information on the stamp form. For each, you can change the design name or designed and printed dates, adjust the dimensions of its field box, and change the font and font size. Use the logo tab to insert your company logo or a custom image into the stamp form. Click the Browse button to find the image file on your computer, and then you can adjust the width and height of the logo box. Use the left and right text tabs to change and adjust the left and right text field areas on the stamp form. Type in custom text, and then set its font and font size. Click the Preview button to see a sample of the print form. The Reset button will reset all the information back to the original stamp form settings. And then click OK to save your settings and return to the Print Preview dialog box. Then click OK again to preview the pages to be printed. In the Previewer, use the top toolbar to print your print preview, save the print preview as a PDF document, Close the previewer, turn headers and footers on or off, zoom in or out, move selected views on the page, 
adjust the scale of a view. Each view can be set in a different scale and also navigate from page to page. The Print Templates button will launch the print templates to create a single page print that shows multiple types of views. Click on the Page Format button field to select your printer, set the page size, orientation, and print margins. Then you can select from one of Pro Kitchen's pre-made print templates or use the top toolbar to create a new blank template and give it a name, copy a selected template and rename it, copy and clear the layout of a selected template and rename it, rename a selected template, and delete a selected template. Once you have a layout selected, you can choose to include your stamp form, a border, and print in black and white. The stamp form button will launch the stamp form settings, which works the same way that was shown in the print preview. And then click OK to launch the print template editor and add your views. To add a view to one of the outline areas on the page, left click to select it and then right click to launch a submenu toolbox. From the toolbox, you can select Add to choose any of your plan, elevation, 3D, 3D HD, or bill of materials view to display or upload a custom image from your computer. Select the send forward, backward, or send to front or back to rearrange the layer order of views that might overlap. Select an uncheck show border to turn off the yellow frame border that will print unless you've turned it off. Select unlock to lock or lo unlock a selected view and prevent it from being moved or edited. Select reset to, de to default to reset the selected frame to the default settings. Select Attributes to launch the attributes of the selected frame that will let you adjust the color and line style of that view frame's border. And Delete to, de to delete the selected frame. To add a plan view, simply select Add, Plan View, and then choose the plan view you wish to display. Elevation views work the same way, and once added to view frames, it's automatically scaled to fit in the center of the view frame. To add a 3D or 3D HD view, select either a top or front view you wish to display in 3D HD, and then also select the perspective angle you wish to display it at. Then, the editor will quickly render your view from your design and add it inside of the view frame. Once a view has been added inside of a view frame, you can right-click on it to open its toolbox submenu to adjust its position and side, it, size inside of the frame. The top toolbar in the editor gives you access to tools that let you customize your template further and add other elements from your design. Again, you have your Send to Printer, Save as PDF File, and Close Editor tools. And then you have your View Option tools to add a view by drawing a custom view frame on the template, clear the contents of a selected view frame, Add custom text, shapes, and lines to the template. Add cabinet style options from your design. Delete a selected view frame. Undo and redo to undo and redo steps. Display a background grid on your template. Enable Grid Snap to snap view frames to the lines and corners of the background grid, producing effortlessly clean layouts. Lock or unlock all views to prevent or enable them to be editing. Enable headers and footers to create custom stamp forms or company information. 
zoom in or out on the template, mover tool to move views within a view frame, and scale to increase or decrease the scale size of a view in a view frame. You can use all of these tools to add any additional elements to your template and customize it to your preference by utilizing the tools found in the right-click toolboxes. Use the attributes of style options, shapes, and comments with text to change the appearance of the text, font, font size, and font color, and the border slash outline color. Then, once completed, you can turn off all of the view frame's yellow borders by right-clicking on an empty area of the template and unchecking the Show All Borders option. Then, use the Print tool in the toolbar to print your created template or save it as a PDF file instead. And that's it! Now you're ready to accurately print your designs in ProKitchen software.